This next question is from Jeff. Pillar bedding, a Ruger. I just watched the AGI DVD on pillar bedding, and I was wondering if anyone has ever tried pillar bedding a Ruger Model 77. The problem I see with it is that the front screw is not perpendicular to the receiver and the barrel, and but the screws, but screws into the recoil lug at an angle. Has anyone ever tackled this project before? If so, how did you do it? Well. I'm not a great fan of pillar bedding, but some people swear by it. But there's no reason why you can't pillar bed it just like any other. The only thing is you have to make the pillar fit that junction between the recoil lug and the bottom of the receiver, and you have to make it fit the trigger guard. Uh, so it's more work. Uh, the system that Ruger uses, if the barrel's bedded right and the action's bedded right, is very good. I really don't see the need for pillar bedding, but that's how you would do it. So the one is at an angle, very precise, very, very, very precisely fitted. The other one, of course, is just straight up and down and not near so much, of, not near so much of a problem. This is one we come up with from time to time. Cliff asks the question: Frozen choke tubes. One of my customers brought in his Benelli 12 gauge with a choke tube frozen in the barrel. I have tried soaking it in penetrating oil. I've tried applying heat, but I've had no luck removing it. Any suggestions? Thanks. Well, they have a tendency to swell and get pissed off and stuck. You can try this. You can, with the torch inside the barrel, heat the choke tube. That means the choke tube will get hotter than the outside of the barrel, and it will expand and stretch things. Then put a cork or something in the barrel, <coughs> in the choke itself, so you keep the water out, and then plunge the muzzle while it's still hot in cold water. The colder the better, so ice cubes in it is good. That will shrink the barrel faster than the tube, and again have to stretch the barrel around the bigger choke tube. Now, if you're lucky, when it cools off and comes back to room temperature, you can unscrew it. If not, and it's really important that you get the choke tube out, you make a left hand tap with a shoulder on it that will bottom at the front end of this choke, ch choke tube. You put the barrel in something to hold it very firmly without wrecking it. Don't want to collapse the rib or bend it or make an oval bore out of it. Run the tap in until it bottoms out and put a big wrench on it and unscrew that choke tube. You better want it out pretty bad because that's a hassle. And one left hand tap will not fit all choke tubes. 